All right, guys, we are back. Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon. As always, it is so great to see you. And friends, welcome to Photography Talk episode 96. Now, it's been a long time coming, but Nikon is reportedly close to officially announcing their Z9 flagship camera. When might we see the Z9 hit the store shelves? Well, we're gonna discuss that momentarily. In recent news, Canon news, which, hey, this is the first time in a while that it's not about the R3, but the R7 appears to be set for a release, but not until the second half of 2022. Canon also announced a dual fisheye lens that allows you to create 180 degree composite images that are perfect for virtual reality. It's definitely not a lens that I saw coming from Canon. Now we're gonna discuss all these stories in just a moment, but first we put these news reels together to help you stay tuned in as far as what's happening in the photography industries with these little bites size little news nuggets. If you find some value in this video, do me a favor, go down below and hit that like button. It really does help with the whole YouTube algorithm. That said, let's get on to this week's headlines. Rumor has it Nikon will officially announce the Z9 very soon. Now this is very exciting news given that the features that the Z9 is expected to have. Now speculation has that the Z9 will have a 45 megapixel stacked sensor paired with a new process that will enable the camera to shoot 8K video which is really a must have these days for a flagship camera. Now rumors also suggest that the new sensor will have a mode that reduces resolution to allow burst shooting to up to or at up to 120 frames per second. Now to keep pace with Canon and Sony, the new Nikon camera is expected to have autofocus tracking for people, animals, and cars. Now it's also expected that the Z9 will have two CF Express card slots. Now the prevailing thought is that the announcement about the Z9 will be made very soon and that the shipping will be begin right around the corner towards November and December. However, keep in mind the supply chain difficulties related to the pandemic will almost certainly mean delays in shipment for many consumers. But that's really, that's not new. That's really nothing new here. But I will make a, a little suggestion here. If you have any inclination of wanting this camera or thinking about it, you're on the fence, get your thinking done right now. Be ready. So when Nikon announces this thing, if you want to avoid months or potentially months of delays, have your credit card in hand, have your decision made already, get on the phone with Adorama, b &H, or whoever the hell that you order your camera supplies from and place the order as soon as you see Nikon putting out this release. Get your name in front of the list. So therefore you have a stronger chance of getting that camera rather than waiting like a lot of people have done over the last year or actually two years for new cameras coming out. Now there have been rumors about the EOS R7 for a long time now, specifically that this camera is gonna have a back illuminated APS sensor. Now when you think about it, having a crop sensor camera in the EOS R family really makes a lot of sense for Canon as it's gonna really open up a lot of markets, a lot of avenues for Canon to reach photographers that simply have no need for a full frame camera. Now the R7 would likely be the mirrorless equivalent to the Z, I keep saying Z7, the, the 7D Mark II which is a fantastic wildlife and photography in action photography camera. Recently, Canon announced some cheaper RF lenses that might indicate that a cheaper camera is on the horizon. Now the R7 would certainly, if you think about the price, would be closer to the bottom of the price range of the current EOS R lineup of cameras. Though Canon's rumored to be working on or developing a entry level APS-C camera in the EOS R family as well. Now while on topic of these rumors, these indicate that Canon is aiming for the announcement of the R7 sometime in the second half of 2020. Now we're going to see if obviously Canon can keep on target with that. And of course, as always, we'll keep you guys posted on any sort of news relating to this camera. Now, if you've been dreaming of a dual fisheye 5.2 millimeter 2.8 L lens for your EOS R5, then my friend, your dreams have come true. This new lens from Canon takes two circular images simultaneously. Together, they create 180 degree footage that can be used for 3D virtual reality applications. Now, the lens is a first component of Canon's new EOS VR system, which will include a subscription-based software that allows you to convert the footage captured from the camera, or from the lens, rather. Now, what's really ingenious about this lens is that you don't have to stitch together anything or sync footage. In Instead, you do it all with this lens in the company software. Now, is this a lens that I'm gonna be rushing out and getting? No, 
Not really. I have no need for it. But it is still a badass lens. What do you think? Leave a comment below. Now, speaking of which, this lens will be available as early as December, and you can get it for just a little bit shy of $2,000. And of course, I'll put a link down below. All right, guys, that's a wrap for this week's headline. Let's get over to the details of our current giveaway. Here are the list of prizes that we have this time around. We have a hold fast Remographer leather camera bag. We have a set of h &Y filters, and of course, the $100. Adorama gift card. As always, entering the giveaway is really simple. Step one, like this video, subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So get watching some of our other videos and leave some comments. Step three, register on Photography Talk and introduce yourself in the form. Now, if you registered on the site and during one of the last giveaways, you're still eligible to win. But as I keep saying over and over again, swing on by, post some photos, let us know what you're doing. Friend, that is it. For complete details on the giveaway, including how to say hello in the form and how to register on Photography Talk, check out the description below. Good luck. All right, guys, that is it for Photography Talk episode 96. Now it's that time of the video where I'm gonna ask you to do all that YouTube stuff that is oh so valuable to this channel's growth. So if you like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button. If you're currently not subscribed to the channel, friend, what are you waiting for? Hit that like button, or I'm sorry, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you part of this family. And while you're at it, smash, kick that bell, so therefore you're notified each time that we come out with a new video. With that said, friend, I'm gonna be jumping out of my studio so you get out there, stay healthy, and create your best shot.